and all this dope will be the trouble. That junk gonna fall, I'm telling you. Exactly. How do YouTubers even doing this? They have they a mount. Probably, yeah, they probably have a mount. Tell them what we're doing, big fella. Alright, guys. So we, we here. out here in quarantine. Yep. Uh, we about to go get some food. What we about to get? We about to get some Burger King. Have yep. it our way. You know what I mean? Mukbang. Yeah. Some simple. Yeah. During quarantine. Questions and questions. Get some answers. Yep. Yes, we're sir. gonna have to make up our own questions. Indeed. Facts. But let's see where we've got to go. You know where Burger King is? You see, get, I'm you good not, at directions? I'm not, I don't have directions, mm. but I know how to get there. Oh, okay. I'm the type I'm the type of dude where you can't just sit there and be like, oh, because cause me, my brain, when I hear people like, oh, yeah, it's on James Charles, I-95. Like, I don't know all that. I just know right, left, up, down, <laughs> U-turn. That's all I know. I'm I I know directions. I this don't. One, this one like two two miles away. Eleven minutes, nigga. What? I I know directions and directions. We about to go to this I, one. The directions that I was taught was left and right. Not no I ninety five and two seven. The so, heads looking restless. Yeah, lint. Yeah, lint. Yeah, lint. Lint everywhere, bro. Yeah, same thing I do. Cause when I be sleeping, I get lint all Facts. in my hair. Facts. Sometimes I get lint in places I didn't even realize you get lint in. Me neither, bro. That's crazy. Crazy. How you wake up and you got a piece of lint like behind your ear? Mm, tell them. Or like in your toes. In your toenails, nigga. In your toenail. <laughs> you had that happen to you? Bro, I had that. Your I, in I, your it toenails, gets me, It nigga. gets me so mad and I feel so disgusted because it's like... I'm sitting there walking and you don't ever notice it and then it gets caught under your nail and then when you sit there and you realize you look down you're like ugh. Huh. Ugh. Huh. It's nasty. You gotta like reach in there and like pick it uh. up. Like on some mining shit. You gotta <laughs> <laughs> This ain't no Minecraft, nigga. You gotta you gotta you gotta mine your way out. Well yeah. We about to go this Burger King. We'll see y'all when we at Burger King. Say less. Wrong with that? Then, then my dad, he, he walked up randomly to me. I told you about that that day. He walked into the room randomly. And he was asked, because he, my Nana overheard, I guess, a conversation we had. And my dad walked into the room, talking about some, oh, uh, do you know what, uh, what's the word? What's the word he used? It was some complicated word he used instead of using it somewhere. He was like, do you know what, uh, um, fuck, what is it? What is it? Just sum it up. I'm trying to think. Gender, gender fluent or some shit. He said. Ah. He said, "Do you know what gender fluent is?" And I'm like, "Nah, nigga." Yeah. <laughs> bisexual. He was like, "Nah, it's called gender fluent." And I'm like, "Yes, it's a synonym. It's another word for bisexual." He's like, "Yeah, you know if you got um, oh, I know what it was. Cause we were being we were being retarded and um, me and you. Yes, cause cause that day we were talking about like we were talking about penis sizes." Yeah, I remember that. Oh, what? We were, no, 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 no. We, I, I'm trying to. I'll, I'll tell you about it later. But we were talking. We were talking about penis sizes in some context. And then, I guess she overheard like just the word penis and size. And then I guess she told him. And so he came into my room. And he was like, "Well, she told me that y'all were like talking about comparing penis sizes and all this stuff." And I'm like, "What? What? <laughs> what? I was like, bro, what? Bro, what? So now, so now you, now you know why, like." I talk. They so, be ear hustling. Right, don't even like, know the Kool Aid. Now, now you know. Now you know why I be like talking like real low sometimes. Cause like I don't want people in my conversation. Cause crap like Shit. this. So so he was asking me that, and I was like, you know, like if you if you like guys, he said something. He was like, no, if you like guys, whatever. Like you can tell me, and I'm like, no, females and females only. Stop playing with us. I look, I look light. I look like a light skin. Yeah. See, you be saying I'm dark skin. Look at this. I'm not dark skin. I'm talking about me. But you be trying to call me dark skin. I'm not dark skin. <sighs> look, look. I'm lighter than him, as you can. Yeah, tell. he's light skin. He, he's that. He's that Jamaican I'm not, I'm type jam. I'm not full light skin. I'm, I'm, I'm brown skin. I'm, I'm, car I'm caramel. I got like one, one. I'm night. milk chocolate. Get it right. You that camera. He's not no chocolate. 
Our milk chocolate. It's like a medium, like, Easter bunny chocolate. <laughs> All right, well we get we get a uh, worst YouTuber of the year. We got the food. That's on him. We ate it already. That's on him. But it got deep, so y'all y'all understand. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we was talking about some he deep stuff. He talking about how he ran out of food. But y'all niggas know me. I got dinner for days. You know what I mean? Dinner for days, bro. Dinner for days. You know what I'm saying? He said, I'm not about to eat at home. I got to get it now. Dinner for days, you know what I mean? Dinner Dang, for days, boy. bro. Dinner for days. And I'm going to work all this shit off. Yes. Some some jumping jacks, some sit-ups. I'm not, I'm, not I'm not a super buff dude. Like, I can't do 100 push-ups in a row. So, y'all, all y'all viewers out there, y'all got y'all got me beat by that. But I can do some jumping jacks and, like, and like running stuff. I, I can do something. <clears throat> But we did see a little shorty outside. Oh, yeah, she was fine, bro. She was Look, like, she was talking like so wild, bro, bro. She was like, oh, she she had like pearly, pearly skin. Like not not flawless skin, but like the the shade of color was like a pearly, like a pearly kind of like, mm. like a coconut. Like you ever see? And she matched. She was wearing a white bro. on black on black and she on had, black. She had one of them ponytails that reached down to like the middle of the back, not the high top one, bro. But bro, facts. You ever seen like a coconut on those like modeling commercials? You know, like Maybelline and like <laughs> like uh, like Victoria's Secret commercials. Like you know how they got the coconut and they look all like perfectly like she was model status. Was like, what model, she's trying to like, say like model status. Like model status. I'm pretty sure she has a Snapchat and Instagram. I don't know what it is though. We should have ran across the street and said, "What's up?" No, she would have hit us with a dad. I'm not your dad. Oh, shout out to Long Beach Griffey. Long Beach, yeah. Yo, Long Beach too. Griffey, the type of dude to sit here and something super cat catastrophic happened. You know, meteors raining down and like blow up the planet. This man gonna make a whole video talking about. <laughs> I guess you could call that world breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah. Then he'd be like, how do we get here? Dad. Dad. I'm not your dad. Dad. I'm not your dad. Daddy. Father. Father. <laughs> All right. I'm what's going a question? Home. What's a question? Cause I know you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be talking to me about this later. What's the question that you got for all the females out there, bro? Talk to him. Bro. Talk to him. Why y'all always playing games? He wants to know why y'all playing games. Why y'all always gonna play games? Why y'all why y'all out here playing games? Setting the setting the man up, you know what I mean? I know man. Fortnite's the big thing for y'all, but why y'all always playing games? Man, man just wanna have a good time. You know, he ain't even gotta like be trying to get some cheeks. You know, he just wanna talk to you, get Facts. a relationship. Or or just say hi and y'all just like I I, I can't you. even check in. Right, like I just like people don't realize like nowadays. You can't really talk to people like you used to, like back when your parents were young. Facts. You can't really go to people and be like, oh, hi, how's your day? Like, you walk up, some girls, you walk up to them and be like, hi, I have a boyfriend. Next. I, I didn't saying, come here for all that. I want to know how your day is. That's I didn't, all I want to know. I didn't come here for all that. That's all I want to know is how your day is. I just wanted to say hello. If you got a boyfriend, I mean, good for you. You know? That's fine with me. I, I get you in love with somebody. I'm in love with the almighty Jesus Christ himself. You know, Lord and Savior. Right? I'm a child of God. But, like, I need some physical love, too. Facts. I'm crippin' for Christ. Like, sometimes I want to get a little, you know what I mean? But, like, we can't even... We can't even do that. I can't even say hello. We can't even shake hands no more. I can't even wave. We can't even, we can't even, we can't even get hugged, bro. We got, we literally, at this point, you might as well say, we got to pay a dollar for every time we want a hug, bro. For every. Females should be rich. For, for every hug, for every hug that a man asks a woman, a woman gets paid one dollar. They would be rich. Now, you multiply that by, let's see, how many hugs would you say somebody given in their entire life? Maybe a thousand. Okay, you give a you give a thousand. Ladies are making at least a thousand dollars a year based off of a yeah. hug. And not even like a full blown like chest to chest hug. Like y'all be a giving side a side hug. Y'all be giving a side hug. Or like y'all be giving the little hugs where like y'all kinda like inch in and don't want to. Y'all y'all be just throwing your bodies. Y'all say, I don't wanna touch you. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. But let it let it do let it do be like really bad with a with a mean attitude and uh and and and, and cussing the girl out and trying to always be aggressive when she don't want to be aggressive and have him be like six feet something tall bro play for the nba what about us short niggas yeah he got it rough 
What about us? <laughs> the thing is, he's not even that short. Exactly. What about us? Like y'all, y'all. That's another thing. Like I be matching the females' heights. Yeah, they be like, uh, you too short. Y'all be, be getting mad at like, like I like if y'all if y'all come across a dude that's really nice. And I get and I understand, ladies. Like this may be like a preference. Like you just want somebody that's taller. But like if somebody's an inch or so like shorter than you, that's not really a big height difference. That's just not a couple that, inches. Like. It's a forehead status. Some of y'all females be having the biggest foreheads. That's what I'm like saying. that ain't our fault. We can't change that. We cannot change that. We cannot change that. We can't help that. You would be shorter than us if you had a normal size forehead. Wow. But some of these females just be tripping, dog. They be tripping. They be tripping, dog. I mean, I got a big forehead, but I think. That, Jimmy Jones! I think that just because my head is like big as a whole like people don't really notice that I got a big forehead so they're not really calling it out if your head is kind of like caved in in the back but your joint is like on some 3d movie joint bro it's crazy crazy you just out here trying to get love you know what I'm saying look how shiny y'all look. look at that see how shiny I just, look. We, we just we polished we just want some love. polish you know what that is it's called lotion and body wash you know Spend like 15, 30 minutes in the shower. She know? needs to never run a day in her life again. <sighs> oh, my bad. <laughs> I don't know, bro. It's just females, bro. Like, and, and not we not even gonna get on. We not even gonna get on just females, cause there be there do be some guys out here. We not even gonna talk about the situation, bro. We just gonna keep it broad. Bruh, the even guy, guys, you know, you know, y'all gotta know, stop you know. playing with females' hearts, bro. Cause like a female. Bruh. All right, all right. Check this out, bro. Bro, check this out. A female's like a flower. Mm, all right, tell them. When you take care of a flower, you gotta water the flower. Water. You gotta put the flower in agua, enriching soil. You know what I'm soil. saying? Like she gotta be enriched. She gotta Water. grow, she but she gotta grow. She gotta grow at her own pace. You just gotta adapt to her. You know what I mean? She gotta adapt to you. I gotta compliment each other. You can't just be getting on her and talk about some. Oh, she don't give me nothing, or she doesn't. She doesn't. Uh, what's what's a what's an example of something that they use as an excuse? Like, like sex. You know, like some they be just pressed on some sex. You yeah, don't get like, enough sex. Yeah, like, like we don't get enough sex. Like it's not you, all about do that. Do y'all understand? First of all. Let me, let me tell you like this. I understand. Like sex, sex is amazing. But do y'all realize that for us guys, sex is easy. I mean, yeah, you can complain. Like we make people make jokes about like stroke game and all that stuff. But like. If you boil it down to the fundamentals of what sex is, females got it harder. So to complain about your girl give not giving enough sex, it may just be like maybe like it's a workout. Like I'm pretty sure not every girl wants to be super duper sweaty and having asthma attacks just so you could just so you could feel good. Like not on some real talk, cause like like you could she be going in, breath, breath. you be you be going in, and Whoa. Like, I'm out of breath, and then he like. <laughs> Wanna go again? Wanna go again? So it's just y'all gotta relax on that. Like I, I know I know Jeez. one thing. I know one thing that girls are like. Maybe maybe instead of sex, maybe y'all could go out to like a movie. Or if y'all don't wanna do a movie, make like a little picnic basket. You know, go out and do like I mean I'm this is me cause like I'm just I'm just a romantic idealist. But anyway, like just take a picnic, maybe get some of her favorite foods or something like that. Get something that embodies what you mean to her you know what i mean make it make it symbolic of y'all like closeness in y'all relationship and just go sit and like look at stars or something or like sit sit and sit on the grass and just like eat some food and laugh like ask her what her goals are like what she want to do in life or like how y'all can help each other grow they gotta talk to each other ladies y'all have to talk okay Even, bro communication is key y'all can't, can't just walk up into a store and Especially some, especially some of y'all girls that like don't wear like a whole bunch of like, um, like fashion based stuff. Like y'all, like you can't just walk into a store or walk out in public and just shoot. Yeah, it's alright. I'll be back. Yeah, like y'all just gotta communicate. Communicate is key, bro. And for all those, bro, like females, there, there's literally. This is this should be your new model. If you know you picked the wrong dudes, let him go. Just, not even just that, like like half the time the good dudes be the one chasing you. Bro, that 
that's another thing I want to get on. But y'all, so, but, but but y'all, but y'all, when when a nigga try to chase you, they be like, ah, so, I don't want so, him. He's chasing so, me. So one of the things I noticed is that we live. People always talk about, oh, we live in a male-dominated society. I don't really believe in that anymore because, like, while men bro, dominate, don't that, bro. Do, while men dominate a majority of society, y'all females got it easy compared to us. Like, like easy, easy. Like, y'all could get away with stuff that we can't even get away with. Like, a, a cop or a police officer would, like, bat an eyelash compared to, like, us. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and then another thing. On the topic of simping, right? You simping, nobody, man, woman, whatever gender you are, you should not be simping for nobody. You know what I mean? So, one of the things I get Equal is, like, rights, oh. Equal rights, y'all. Huh? I say equal rights. Yeah. yeah, equal rights. Like if y'all gonna sit here and talk about equal equal rights, then y'all y'all gotta realize that y'all do y'all simp just as much as dudes do. Y'all just don't get called out for it as much because y'all not public about it. Guys, they straight up call you out like, hey bro, dog. You a simp. You a whole simp. You know what I mean? Like, y'all, y'all get and then some of y'all, y'all get the y'all, and I'm not, and I'm just putting this out there as true. Y'all don't know what y'all want. And that ninety five percent of bro, the time, and, that, and not not even that, it's okay to not know what you want. Facts, but but you shouldn't you shouldn't use not knowing what you want to fuck up somebody else's emotional feelings. Bro, like, bro, yes. Like if you don't if you're if you know that you're not ready for a relationship, don't get in a relationship. If you are looking for a specific thing in a relationship, then keep your eyes out for that. And like if you're going through like abuse, an abusive relationship. You shouldn't get out of that job. You shouldn't stay in, and I get Bro. it. Like you love the person. No, there's a lot of. End, hey, you can't me, love someone like that is that let abuses it, you. Let me put you it like this. You can't love someone that like does. Let me put it like this. People always, people always talk about. Oh, well, I mean, Jesus. He said, "Love everybody." Jesus did say that, and Jesus did love everybody. But even Jesus, at some point, lets people go and do their own thing. He's not gonna constantly. Bro, be, he's preaching right now. Like, Listen, he's not. He's not Jesus. What people realize is. Jesus doesn't let people take advantage of him. Even though people take advantage Did of you him. You see them, Josh? Oh, where? Oh! What are we looking at? This is the, uh, that spider or, or slingshot, I think it's called. Oh, the, oh, the, the car? Yeah, the oh, three wheeler yeah, jump. We be seeing them just on the road. Yeah, bro. them just lit. Hey, I'm just hitting. I continue preach to them. What I'm saying is, like, like, you can't, you can't take advantage of somebody's feelings. And then. Like, especially if it's a, especially like some of you ladies out there, like if y'all came across the nice guy, y'all can't turn that nice guy down if he leaves you alone. Because if you're not giving him the time of day or you're treating him a certain way, then he's he's gonna leave after a certain point. Not even just that, like, girls be like, I don't want anything right now. The dude, they expect the dude to wait the whole time. Like, we not finna wait like y'all two, three years for you. Y'all can't, and it's it's not on, it's not. We gotta move on. It's not on y'all, and it's not on the guy. That's just how life is. Like, you have the rare few of guys, like like me, I'll wait. Why do they look like Matthew? They look like Matthew a little bit, in the face. But anyway, y'all, like, nobody should, like, people, it's okay to wait. You have to be patient in any type of relationship to make it work. But at the same time, you shouldn't lead someone on. There's a difference between waiting and leaving someone on. Yeah, you don't, can, don't, don't say, don't, don't like flirt with a dude yeah, and stuff like, like that. And then you just be like, no, nah, I'm not ready for a relationship. That, that's like, a, bro, what? That's, a, that's another you was thing. really flirting guys, with me the other guys, day. Guys, a majority of them, they're like really serious. So if you start flirting with them, they might take that as like exactly. you actually want them. And then, then we'll when they flirt start, back. And then when they go for you, you can't sit there and be like, Whoa, I wasn't expecting this. Like, like that's what what like, is going on? You, I don't like you. Like, like bro, you, what? If you talk about, oh shoot, he bad, and he like, oh shoot, I can show you what bad is in the bed. Like y'all can't, like, if y'all doing that, y'all can't. Y can't <laughs> Not even just that. Some of y'all females be really flirting. Talking yeah, about some going, really be, like some going actual in. stuff. I'll be going in. Like, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's how they that's how they be, man. But I mean it's people are different, honestly, at the end of the day. Like we all different. We all got different motivations to do stuff. But the one thing I can say is that before any type of relationship, always establish a friendship. Right. Always establish a friendship. If you don't got no friendship, can't have anything. Friendship is always like the beginning. Because yeah, relationship, but it's not gonna be a relationship all the time. And and when it comes to sex, y'all gotta realize like 
there's something more going on. Like, yeah, you can easily put it off and like be like, oh, like sex isn't this and that. But sex is not just physical. Yeah, like it's not just stop believing sex is just bro, physical. Bro, it's not. Let me it's, tell you something. It's something it's there, deeper than that. There are people in this world that literally become numb to sex. Because like, they just do it all the like, time. It just, like, they do it so much that it means nothing to them. And it's like, they have no reaction to it. They have no, like, passion in it. Sex like, no meaning. Passion, it's you know supposed I mean? to be intimate. And it's like, y'all can't, y'all can't just be like, throwing, and like, y'all can't just throw yourself to any and everybody. Cause like, no facts. There's Not like, people, any and everyone people, deserves you. What people don't realize is that there's a whole emotional attachment. Like when you have sex with somebody, you're emotionally you're attached not, to them. You're not gonna come out of that joint feeling no emotion. You're gonna feel that's, something. That's why. That's why everyone that that has sex, like they have the little friends with benefits or the little side jounts or the little booty calls and stuff that they do all the time. Why you always think they they hook up? Like they someone falls for someone. But that, but that's because they have that. They set some of them. They have that because they set that relationship up like ahead of time. Not even just that. Like some of them, it's not supposed to be anything more than just sex. That's what but I'm then saying. someone always, you hear about it all the time. Someone always says, "I have feelings," or "I'm catching feelings." Yeah. Either girl or the guy, I'm catching feelings. But the other person doesn't feel like that because yeah. they're numb to it. Mm -hmm. But you haven't got to that stage yet. But they're numb to it. But you're not yet. So y'all need to stop just throwing throwing your body. No, bro. It's supposed to be y'all grow. To, it's, it's basic biology. Like, like for real. Like. Your body's not for any and everyone. That's why you're supposed yeah. to get that one spouse and stay with them because sex is supposed to feel like the first time every single time with them. Don't matter where it's at. Don't matter when when you, when it happened. No matter when it happened. Unless y'all unless y'all are single, you know, like me. Hit me up. We can talk. Friend, friendship first. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I, I want to talk. I want to talk about this whole like, nah, not even. I'm not gonna talk. I'm not even gonna talk about that because like people are panicking and stuff. Bro, have faith, bro. Just have faith. I'm gonna let y'all know. Like me, I'm chilling. It's not even that deep. Bro, honestly. even if he has corona, I have corona right now. Like, bro. Like legit. If I would like, I'm letting you know. Just have faith. Bro. Like, it's whatever. Like, like you're gonna, times are literally going to get worse than you're this. Gonna, this you're, is, you're, this you're, is just the beginning. We're all, we're all gonna die at some point. So, y'all just need to embrace that fact. You know what I mean? Like, it's this is literally just the beginning. Like, y'all tripping, panicking, buying all like, the this stuff out nothing. the stores. Bro, you remember when camping, you remember, going out of state? You remember when, like, bro. You remember when Ebola was a thing, bro? This is the same situation. Bro, even, I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't even flinch over Ebola. Grant, granted, People didn't react as badly like this to Ebola, but it's still the same situation. Because it was more contained yeah. than this, but still, like, bro, at like, this point, literally, like, it's going to get worse. Like, the Bible earlier, literally said it's going to get worse. Bro, earlier, we could walk out the house without a mask on, but the only place you had to wear a mask is if you was in the store. Nowadays, you just straight up have to walk out the house with a mask on because, like, you get If you over. don't, bro, you're in trouble. You're going to get fined. And then, like, they give us a curfew, like, 8 p.m. Like, this is on some apocalypse-type joint. No okay. cap. I'm ready for some zombies. I'm ready for some zombies. I'm letting y'all know right now, if there's ever, like, a zombie joint going on, like, I'm going to be the first one. Like, I'm going to wake up. I'm going to be like, yes! I have an excuse to whoop people. <laughs> Pause. Oh, I forgot. This is going on YouTube. Hold up. Hey, guys, I'm not a murderer. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm not a murderer. Some ain't right. Not a murderer. Guards! Get him! <laughs> Get next. him! Next! Nah. Man's wildin'. Nah, but like, y'all doing good? Like, bro, for real. Let us know. Dude. I hope y'all doing good, bro. Like, comment on his on his uh, page, Big Mike 30. You know what I mean? Like, just talk Facts. to him. Just talk to him, bro. Just bro, I be, I be just. Low key, I just be checking up on people. Like some sometimes you just need to check up on somebody, bro. Bro, I know one thing. Cause you never know what they're going through. Y'all ever like sit down and like your your booty be getting like sweaty? Like you just sit down for a long period of time, your booty gets sweaty. It's I, cause think, it's I a, think that's our time to get off. It's a lot of heat. You know what I mean? A lot of heat like, in this car. Yeah, bro. Maybe we should step out. Step, step out. Shit, I'm about to just. We go, we gonna step out. I'm not. Oh, I'm not stepping out. You can keep that joint going, bro. Ah. Oh. 
He got sweaty booty. No, nah, just like my leg right here is like, if it feels like when you sit down for a while. Mm. Hey, I know, I know y'all see, look how thick I am. Like, I'm really thick out here. I'm slim thick. All right. I'm slim, nah, 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 nah. Come All back, right. what you doing to the camera? All right. Come back, All bro. Right. Hey, right. I'm slim thick. Slim Like thick. I like my shotties. My Hispanic tings. If you slim thick, baby, come my way. I shouldn't say that. Cause that one girl I'm waiting on, you know, she might see All right, this. here we go. I knew it! Hey, another thing I want to talk to y'all about. Y'all sitting out, y'all boys out here talking about, oh, bruh, I don't love her. I ain't got no yeah, feelings. I don't know. Y'all feel something. You wanna know why? Cause bro, this guy. This the one, dude, his, this dude bro, 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 thinks bro, bro, nah, when nah, you nah, start nah, falling nah, nah, for a girl nah, nah, that nah, you bro. love them. No, 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 no. I ain't say all that. I ain't That's say all that. that. I didn't say all that. What I said was, this I can recognize. This camera about to die. It's about to cut off on you, but keep keep going. You can recognize. This is about to die, right? But this, you can recognize when you got feelings for somebody. I know it. I can pick up on that joint like a sixth sense. I know it. He may not love. He may not I mean, love this a girl. Little. I'm falling for a little. All right, uh, all right. It's a only, little, it's only, it's only, it's only because that's what I see in in a future like wife or something like that. Like, so, like someone that drives you spiritually and. Like, like, in all ways. He feels a little something. In all ways, like. He feels she, something. She's like a motivation, you know what I mean? So it's like, but she doing her little journey. So it's like, bro, I either wait, but if it take too long, I'm not finna sit here and just like, it's time to go, you know what I'm saying? Like it. <laughs> all right, but we gonna close the video out here. It's been Big Mike 30. Can you zoom in? Y'all see it. Y'all stay safe out there, ladies and gentlemen. Tell them like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yes, sir. Know what I'm saying? Maybe one day y'all could y'all could have some, you know, caramel skin like me. Or some brown skin, you hear me? Know what I mean? And we out of here. Corona! <laughs> we out of here.